With rapidly dropping temperatures, even some frost in the forecast, we're getting to the end of harvest season right here in southwestern Ontario. But there's a farm near Leamington that has no intention of slowing down. In fact, they're working all year round, even Christmas. Jonathan Pinto is here to tell us more. Hey, Jonathan. Hey, Arms. So what sort of farm are we talking about here? Greenhouse of some sort? Actually, quite the opposite. Um, there's no daylight involved at all. I went to a mushroom farm. So Highline Mushrooms operates nine farms across the country, including three here in Essex County, where they're from. I visited Highline's West Farm in Leamington. They have 450 workers. They run seven days a week, 365 days a year. And each day, they produce about 22,000 kilograms, about 50,000 pounds of white and cremini mushrooms. That's a lot of mushrooms. Now, do they grow portobello mushrooms? Yes, they do. So portobello mushrooms are just giant cremini mushrooms. And how are these mushrooms grown? Well, it starts here at a place called the wharf. So basically they mix straw, gypsum, and chicken manure together and let it compost. This becomes a nutrient-rich material that mushrooms can grow in. After about 12 days, this compost is pasteurized in giant chambers to kill off any bacteria, and then the mushroom fungus is added. After another two weeks or so, this material is transferred to a giant growing room. So imagine the aisles of like a grocery store, but instead of food on the shelf, it's garden beds. So how long do these mushrooms take to pop up? It takes about two weeks, and you know, and then they just keep coming. The uh, crews are just sometimes picking the rooms five times a day. They grow really fast. This goes on for about two weeks, and then after the mushrooms stop growing, the leftover compost is sold back to the farmers to use in their fields. In many ways, you know, a mushroom farm is basically a giant recycling operation that happens to grow mushrooms along the way. After this, the mushrooms are packaged, some sliced, and then sent to the grocery store. Fascinating. Thanks, Jonathan. You're welcome, Arms. CBC Windsor's Jonathan Pinto, our food dude.